strap in today guys and welcome back it is trucker girl kiana and miss serafina i hope you're having a beautiful day afternoon morning whatever it is for you come on up and jump on the bed sarah um at any rate so this video is from a couple days ago in oregon as we were headed down towards missouri um which we will be in missouri tomorrow but this is the drive um started from the rest area i did edit a little bit of the footage um i'm trying to do a little bit more editing with the footage and try and condense things down because this was like a hour and a half long video uh so i did condense it down quite a bit um and the sun is going to be a little bit in the video so it uh We'll see how that turns out when we get to it. I am just watching it over the, for the first time now as I'm doing the voice recording. Um, and yeah, so I don't really pay attention to the camera while it's just going and doing its thing. Um, I just let it do what it's going to do and then I hope that it turns out good when I <laughs> do the voiceovers. <laughs> so there's that. But... So with this load, we did actually sit in Laramie, Wyoming for two days. Um, I-80 was shut down from Cheyenne all the way to Grand Island, Nebraska. And that was the original route. I was going to drop down to Interstate 70. However, when I was approaching, approach, approach, approaching Laramie, it was... The 70 was shut down from Denver to the Kansas line. Uh, I heard rumors that it was actually shut down for further, but I could not find any of that information on Kansas Drive. So, um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't verify. Anyways, now that my klutzy self didn't uh, accidentally stop the video <laughs> while I was recording, um, like I was saying, uh, Kansas was I couldn't get any information on whether the road was shut down I looked and from what I could see it was bad driving conditions but it was not closed on the 70. Um, 287 from Laramie down to um, Colorado was closed uh, due to multiple accidents and bad weather conditions um, and so I just decided that the safest course of action uh, until the 70 was reopened was to sit and stay and so that's what we did um, we sat and we stayed and um, yeah we just kind of chilled and hung out I did a live stream while I was there uh, if you joined thank you for joining um, Serafina always loves the attention and so 70 opened up yesterday uh the 19th however there was still high winds in kansas and i only have 20,000 in the box and i didn't feel comfortable like i could have gone down to colorado but i didn't feel comfortable especially seeing as so cfi has the app and in the app you can go to weather shutdowns and it shows you who's shut down and where so when i was looking at the weather shutdowns i noticed that everybody that was in colorado uh was shut down so or maybe not everybody but there was quite a few people in colorado that were shut down and i was like well if they're shut down there's probably a good reason for it and you know people in nebraska there was like 10 CFI drivers shut down in Nebraska and um, South Dakota there was a couple Idaho had a couple that were shut down there was one in Utah that was shut down um, there was four of us in Wyoming that were shut down so I just decided the safest course of action was to just wait the wind out and so that's what we did and we got moving at about 4.30 this morning. Uh, I sent a message over to dispatch that, hey, I'm rolling again. And uh, we got all the way over to, uh, we're in Syracuse, Nebraska right now. So we're about 180 miles from where we need to be. And we'll go finish out that drive tomorrow. And then we have a load to pick up from the new Kansas City Yard. And take that on over to 
Waverly. Okay, so I can see the sun's a little bit bad, but like it doesn't look like bad, bad. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit uh, mountainous. I tried cleaning my windshield off. That didn't work. By the way, the truck in this video is like absolutely horrendously dirty. So just so you're aware, it's the truck and trailer are just so, so dirty, but they're not now. So, um, but yeah, we had an absolutely wonderful drive going through Oregon. Um, it's always nice to drive through Oregon in the daytime because, like, going through the mountains, you just get to see all the beauty and life that there is. I know in this video, it's, like, all snow and everything, so it's kind of dead, but I guarantee you it's still just as beautiful dead as it is in the spring and the summer where it's just gorgeous so and <laughs> everybody was passing me like I was sitting still I swear I was just like I'm so sorry guys I'm trying <laughs> but you know I can only go 65 and um when I got to Wyoming um I got pulled into the Wyoming uh DOT port of entry um they scaled me. I sat on the scale for an alarming amount of time. Like, I was a little bit concerned for a minute there. And then, of course, you know, it's the port of entry, so you gotta come inside, bring your papers in and whatever. Um, which I did. And, of course, I presented the new IFTA, um, thing. And I hadn't put in the new stickers on yet, because I wanted to wash the truck, because I don't like to put, um, clean things on dirty things, you know? So... I hadn't washed a truck yet, and <laughs> so he was like, I need to see the old papers, which is underneath, and he said if uh, I was going to present the newspapers, I had to have the new IFTA up, and I was like, okay, you know, and then, um, and then he wanted to see the load paperwork, you know, what I'm carrying, where I'm going, and then uh, I was on my merry way, and I parked at the TA off exit 30 on the 18th. Yeah. No, 19th. Yeah, because I went... Yeah, because I started in Oregon and then I ended at that TA. So, I started at that rest area in Oregon and made it all the way to the TA in uh, Wyoming. And then I had plans to make it a little bit further. Um, I was actually planning to make it to Little America that day. But I just, I couldn't. That was a bit too much of a drive. But that's okay. So, at any rate, I've reorganized my truck like a million times now. Um, taking the dog out. I'm actually going to go take the dog out in a minute and go do a little bit of training with her. But I'm just finishing up this quick edit of the video. And then uh, the next video that I put up will be about the truck. Um, and also, I did just go out and do a little bit of flying with the drone so we're gonna have a couple of pictures thrown in in that next video um, a couple of pictures and a couple of drone shots um, just be aware that the drone is still a little bit shaky um, but my handling of it is a little bit shaky so I think I'm getting a little bit better I'm getting I, I'm understanding even when it's facing me like how to direct it and like how to quickly correct any mistakes <laughs> I think one of the videos you might even see me almost hit myself um <laughs> I'm not gonna admit that I did that but I did that <laughs> I had to duck because it came at me I was like oh no <laughs> but that's okay Seraphine is getting all excited because she thinks I'm talking about her Sarah but yeah as you can see it was a very nice drive uh through Oregon um, and Wyoming was actually really nice up until we got to about Laramie. Um, I was about 60 miles from Laramie and the roads looked like they had not been, um, taken care of at all. And I had to just slow down to 45 and I was like, ah, nope, it's time to shut her down. Time to shut her down. And that's when I learned that, uh, the 70 and the 80 were closed. So... Anyways, y'all have a beautiful day. Stay safe, stay blessed, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.